Hello and welcome to International British Modeler. It's been almost seven months since my last video release, uh, so for, sorry for the absence. But now I'm back. I'm only back brush painting. I still haven't got my man cave set up. So the first kit I thought I'd brush paint is a Obby Boss 172 scale Seahawk Mark 100 101. This is a full build video, so I hope you're going to enjoy it. There's a picture of a real one. Now in the box we have two options of markings. We have German markings and uh, it also offers the Indian Navy markings. This is my choice, what I've done for this build. And then we have uh, a black and white instruction booklet. That's the front and back page. Uh, these are the inside two pages showing stages one and two of the assembler. That's stage three of the assembler and the last inside page is stage four. Only four stages to the assembly. It's a pretty simple kit. Just four grey sprues. They're the two major sprues with the upper and lower halves of the fuselage and wings. And they're the other two grey sprues. And then in the bags we have day cows. And there's the day cows. German and Indian markings. And in the smaller bag we have the clear sprue. Nice clear mouldings. No blemishes on those. They look really crisp and clean. So I started off by getting all the parts together for sub-assemblies, that's the cockpit tub. And this is the main undercarriage wheel bay housing. And then we have a, uh, the fuel tanks and the rear fuselage with the horizontal stabilizers all assembled there with the cockpit tub and undercarriage bay. Next I assembled the rockets, eight rockets in total, just two halves of the rockets, there they are joined together ready to move and after that I moved on to assembling the air intakes and the exhaust systems into the lower half of the upper lower fuselage wing assemblies and there they are air intakes and exhaust in place next I drilled all the holes for the rockets and fuel tanks into the lower wing assembler and uh, and then it was on to making some seat belts for the um, for the cockpit seat I made it out of uh, the foil off the top of a wine bottle. Then after that I moved on to painting the air intake areas white and painted the undercarriage wheel bell, uh, wheel wells, the bays there. Uh, just put a bit of colour in there, make it look interesting. And that's the cockpit tub all done. That's a rear view looking at the um, instrument panel, some of the dials there. And that's everything so far, all ready to assemble. I'll put a quarter at the front there, so you get an idea of scale. You see it's a quarter bigger than the cockpit tub. So a uh, very small detail in that tub. So a lot of patience to bring that detail out, and those little belts, cutting those and fitting those. All right, so on to assembly. First I put the undercarriage bay into the lower wing halves. And then I moved on to assembling the upper wings to the lower wing assembler. There it is, all glued and pegged together and clamped. And then I took those off when it was uh, set. There it is, clamps and pegs removed. The next thing to do was to put on the rear half of the uh, fuselage assembler that carries the horizontal stabilizers as well. And there it is in place. And that's the underside, everything assembled for the main body. So next was to mask the canopy in the uh, front windshield, get them ready for assembly. And I then went on to putting in all the wheel bay doors, undercarriage doors, just temporarily sticking them in place with putty, as you can see there. And they'll act as masks. So when I airbrush all the underside, the uh, undercarriage wheel bay doesn't get affected. On each side of the aircraft at the exhaust there was a slight gap, so I filled those gaps, uh, smoothed those down ready for painting. And after that, and then with the canopy in place, I cleaned the plane down with isopropyl alcohol, get her ready for priming. I used Steinol Res, a dark grey primer, good stuff, flows lovely brush that all over on the fuel tanks and on the model of the plane itself. Next it was uh, 
pre-shading. I use black for the upper side, model master black, thin down, really thin down well. And then I mixed a dark brown and brush painted the panel lines on the underside. Next was to put the underside sky. I used XF21 Tamiya, toned down with XF2 flat white. Painted that on the underside and the uh, fuel tanks. And then I did some highlights, toned it down a bit more with white. And then it was, uh, I uh, put a clear coat on that, let that set. And then I masked it, ready for putting the paint in the upper side. And on the upper side, I mixed um, XF uh, 24 with XF2. And then I put some highlights on by toning that uh, grey down with more white. So that were the main colours in place. And all I had to do then was seal the upper side with... Uh, some gloss clear and then she'll be ready for some decaling and there's all the parts now that are painted with a gloss clear coat on that's the top side and that's the underside next then was moving on to decaling so I got all my stuff together I used Walfer's solver set setting solution and uh, put my decals on there they are upper side all done see the side of the fuse large port side there that's the underside and the fuel tanks for their decals and then this is a side view of the uh, and it's the same on the port, the port side and the starboard side are the same next it was on to weathering so I got my oil paints and uh, my odorless mineral spirits and I mixed some black and white to make a brown for the underside spread that all over and then did a dark brown black colour for the top and brushed that all over and then wiped it off leaving on an amount that I like the look of give it some tonal variations and there you go that's the how she looks after some oil washes and that's the underside and on the underside you can start seeing some reddish brown streaks that are mixed um, fuel stains, oil stains weathering, water, dirt so after that, after the weathering it was time to clear coat everything with the final flat clear coat so I brushed that all over top and bottom and then she was ready for the final assembly so that's it guys, all done after the final assembly it was ready to go on to the final reveal so I'm not going to keep you any much longer guys I hope you enjoy the final reveal so let's move on to that cheers guys tally-o chocks away